Hi everyone, welcome back to Pete's Garage. Today we're gonna to see if we can modify the spacer on a Ford inline six 240 to accept an Autolite 1100 carburetor. Now I made a video about this not too long ago about the difference between the carburetors for different engines or different size inline sixes. And the thing that's been bothering me is that I really want to use the 1100, Autolite 1100 style or size carburetor on the Mustang that has a 240 engine, which should be a 200 from the factory, but it has a 240 cubic inch engine in it, which means the intake manifold is different, the size in the intake is different, and it requires a different carburetor. I want to use the Autolite 1100 style carburetor so I can use the stock style air cleaner to fit underneath the hood right and it looks better. So I figured, how can I do that? The only reason I can't use this carburetor on that engine with that spacer is because that spacer, number one, does not have the groove for the idle mixture circuit underneath the carburetor where the hole is, and I do not have a, a gasket that will have a hole through it to allow the air flow for idle. So I figured, why not? I'm going to make one. So here's the difference between the carburetors. This is a YF carburetor from a 74. This is a YF carburetor from a 69. You can see it's a little bit shorter. And here is the Autolite 1100 that would have come standard on a 65 Mustang that had a 200 cubic inch inline six. Obviously shorter still. Here's the difference. If you look at the throat size, the throat size of these right here, the throat on the YF is about an eighth of an inch smaller than the 1100. So it's smaller on the intake here just by a little bit. Very, very similar, but still a little bit smaller, and the difference is on the bottom. On the bottom, the difference is the outlet. The Autolite 1100 has a opening of the bore here of about uh, 1.450, something around there, really quick. And the YF is like 1.7. 1. 1. So it's, if I take the measurement here and go to here, you can see the difference is about a quarter of an inch. Got a quarter of an inch bigger outlet which means if I have a gasket that fits on the YF like that, and if I put it on the 1100, you can see how much smaller that opening is. Now what I want to do is, uh, I'm sorry, the other difference, you can see the slots here for the idle mixture, the idle mixture screw here, and you got your idle mixture circuit where on the 1100 it's flat. There is no groove. So I was thinking to myself, what if I took this gasket here, which is for the YF, and I put it on here. You can see how much smaller it is. You can see the carburetor through there, so you can see how much smaller it is. Um, if it were the other way around, if I were putting a bigger carburetor on a smaller outlet, obviously that wouldn't work because you have this big lip here. What do I? What if I do it the other way around? What if I take the smaller, the smaller carburetor, put it on a bigger opening, so you'll have a bigger opening. So when the when the fuel and air come into the engine, it'll expand a little bit. And what if I made accommodations for that hole for the idle mixture and made accommodations through the gasket and through the spacer. First, I marked the spacer with a regular gasket to estimate where the hole should be for the idle mixture circuit. Then I put it in my drill press with a mill and milled out a slot to allow the air to go through. Then I took the gasket, did the same thing, mark the hole location and drill the hole through it. Now what I have is a hole in the gasket that lines up with the bottom of the carburetor and a slot in the spacer to let the air get in to the manifold for the idle adjustment. So what should we expect by doing something like this? Here we have the manifold right here and the black and the red is the gasket that sits on top and the black up here is the carburetor which overhangs a little bit because the opening of the carburetor is a little smaller quarter of an inch smaller than the opening in the manifold and the gasket. So what we have here is a step. First of all, I have my path for my idle mixture coming in here. So this should work. Number two, since we have a smaller opening here by a quarter of an inch, we have all this volume in the manifold down here. Okay, all this volume. And what I would expect is when you open up the butterfly on the carburetor, now that you have more space down here or available pressure, the pressure or the vacuum inside should drop pretty quick down to zero. However, since this is a smaller opening, I would expect the fuel and air that's coming in here to have a greater velocity because with this volume 
of air in the intake manifold. As it pulls the air in through a smaller opening, you're going to get higher velocity. And with higher velocity, I would expect the air and the fuel to get to the cylinder head faster, and I would expect the response of the engine to be a lot quicker. It's going to be a lot, as soon as you hit it, it's going to jump. So it'll drive quicker, it'll feel quicker, and it, you'll get a better throttle response just by using a smaller opening and increasing the velocity of the air and fuel mixture into the cylinder head and into the engine. <laughs> Now that it's all hooked up, all I have to do is set my idle mixture screw, open about two turns, pump it a couple times, make sure there's gas, and we'll start it up. Now the most important part, air cleaner. Now the air cleaner will fit under the hood and now I have an air cleaner looks right for the model year. So after a final couple adjustments for the idle mixture screw I took it for a ride and completely eliminated the stumbling problem and the rough idle. It idles great so there you go you can put an Autolite 1100 carburetor on a six cylinder 240 engine if you make a groove in the spacer for the idle mixture air and a hole in the gasket so the air can get through. Worked out great. I'm really happy. The air cleaner looks right and it drives great. Thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.